All right, you know what? It's getting late and I have about half an hour before they lock up the studio. All right, so I'm going to be talking about the review of Tutor LMS. So for those of you that want to create your own online course websites, you need to really take a closer look at uh, Tutor LMS. So let's go through and see if this is right for you. So I've done all the research and uh, all we have to do now is to go through and see if it ticks all the boxes that make an online course uh, website software really, really work. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's take a look at Tutor LMS. So the first thing I wanna look at is how easy it is to install Tutor LMS. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a WordPress website set up already and this is only running Divi, nothing else. All right, so let's come over here to plugins, click on add new, and then I'm going to search now for Tutor LMS. And here it is. And as you can see here, the rating is really good. It has been installed on over 20,000 active websites. So this is quite cool. So I'm gonna click here on install, activate. So that's pretty straightforward. So that wasn't difficult at all. Now let's see what happens. So if I come over here now, this is where Tutor LMS is. So I'm going to come over here now to settings. I wanna see what is in the settings uh, options. All right, so here we are on the general tab. So for the dashboard page, Public profile is enabled, which is good. Uh, profile completion. We can also and, uh, notify people to uh, complete their profile. Next, we have Tutor native login. I haven't tried that out, so I'll leave that as it is. Now, this Tutor CM, uh, CSS is very important. You want to leave this as it is, unless you have your own CSS that you want to use. Uh, the JavaScript, okay, that's fine. I'll leave it as it is. Uh, course visibility. So here is where you can choose to either show the course when users are logged in or when they are logged out. So we'll leave this as it is. But you know, to be honest, at the glance, I can see here there's quite a lot of um, options that you can uh, choose. Now over here on the players, there's a YouTube player and Vimeo player, both enabled. So that's pretty cool. All right. So that's on the general. Let's go now to the course. Now you can also enable the Gutenberg editor here to use that to uh, add all your content for your courses. All right, so as you can see, there's quite a lot here and this integrates with WooCommerce. Now, bear in mind, this is the free version. So the free version has all these features, which is fantastic. Now, what really makes us see how powerful this is, is for us to try and go in and create a quick course right away. All right, so let's do that. All right, so now I'm gonna come over here to courses. Click on add new. Let's, this, uh, let's give this course a name. So I'm gonna call this, uh, let's call this Mac course. We need to add a bit of a description here. So I'm gonna paste my description. Moving on, we have course settings. So maximum number of students. So we can uh, specify how many students we want to have on our site. So uh, let's start off with say 100. Uh, difficulty level, I'm just gonna say beginner. And then over here, we also have accepts. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And further down here is where we have the course builder. So um, it's a bit weird, but let's see how this works because I'm used to using Learn Dash. So if I click here on add new topic, so this is going to be our course. So let's call this main course topic summary. I'll just add a bit of text here. Now I can add the topic. Great. So now that this has been added, next I can choose my lessons now. So I'm gonna click here and uh, let's call this lesson one. I'm gonna add my description in here. We can also add a featured image. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I have this image here that I used before. Let's go ahead and use the same one. So now I can click here on use this media. Okay, great. Now we have a video source. So I use Vimeo for hosting my videos. So I'm gonna leave Vimeo selected here. And then all I have to do now is to go to Vimeo and get my URL. All right, so I have my uh, link here to my Vimeo video. So I'm gonna add it right here. And if I have any attachments, I can uh, upload my attachments here for this lesson. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. But it's good to know that that option is there. Let me hit update lesson and see what happens. Okay, so now I've added lesson one. Let's add lesson two. So again, I'm gonna come back to the top here and we're gonna name this lesson two. 
I'm going to come over here, add my URL. This time I'm going to upload an attachment and it's just going to be this image here. Upload this media. Okay, great. So now that I've done that, I'm going to hit update lesson. So hopefully this should work now. So what I'm going to do is to come over here, over to the right and publish this. So I'm going to hit publish. So if all works out, this should now show our course. Okay, so here we go. We have our course and this has all the information that we need. So we can see here we have our description. We also have our lessons and let's see what happens when I click on my lesson. Now, right now I'm not enrolled because it's asking me to enroll now. That is why I cannot access this. So what I'm going to do now is to enroll. But before I do that, I want to add an image here. So let's go back and let's add an image. So I'm going to set my featured image here. That's the only image I have, <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm using the same image. All right, so now that I've added this, let's refresh this and see what this looks like. There we go. So this is looking much, much better. All right, so let's enroll now and see how these lessons look. So I'm going to hit enroll now. Okay, and now I can access my lesson. So if I click here, that's my lesson one. And to be honest, I really like that. Now that's my uh, son's video. I can collapse this and now I can see the bigger view or the bigger version of this video, which is really cool. I can go back. I can go to lesson two. Okay, so it's the same video. Now over here, I also have question and answers. So we can come over here, submit a question. And I think that's a great feature for an online course website. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to use. Now over here, we also have this complete lesson. So if we click here, it shows that our lesson now has been completed. There we go. So it gets a check mark. So to be honest, I really like the fact that uh, all this is in the free version. This is amazing. So for those of you that want to uh, get started with creating an online course website, this is the way. It's absolutely free. You don't have to spend any money to get you up and running uh, on other options that uh, don't have a free version. So you may be asking, so what's in the pro version? So let's take a look now at the difference between the free and the pro version. Okay, so over here now, I am on the pro version. So I'm going to scroll down now. In fact, before I uh, take a look at um, the differences between the two, let's take a look at the licensing. So the first option here, now this is annual. So we have 149 for one domain. And we also have here 199 for five domains. And then we have 299 for unlimited licenses. So to be honest, looking at this, I think this is uh, very generous. It is uh, really affordable. So if you really want to do it on one website, you can go ahead and do that. And for five domains for 199, these, this is for, for those of you that want to do freelance uh, work and design websites for clients who need the options of creating online course websites. So let's take a look here at uh, the comparison now, now that we've gone through the pricing. And by the way, while we're on the pricing, I have a discount. I think it's 20% off. The link to that is in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. And this will give you access to a 20% discount. All right. So over here now, this is now the difference between the pro versus the free. So when we take a look at this here, the free has the course builder, it also has the lessons and courses, the advanced quiz creator. So basically it has all these, which is enough just to get started. Okay, now let's continue. And this is where now the differences come in. So we have this quiz creation options, and this is where we have the short answer, the matching, the image matching, and so on. So uh, it might not be important for you, to be honest, if you're just showing all your courses, your videos. So moving on, we also have advanced functionalities. And now this is where you get to add your certificate templates. It also has powerful reports. So reports are very important because you want to see how your online courses are performing. So this is definitely a must if you want to take your online course business seriously. All right. So moving on, we also have course prerequisites. We also have multimedia attachment, course preview, uh, email notifications. Again, this is very powerful. You want to be able to send emails out to all your students. And this is a very, very powerful feature. So again, if you're really serious about creating an online course business, this is a must. So moving on, we also have the front end course builder here, uh, content drip. We also have a grading system, uh, multiple instructors, buddy 
body press integration. So this is uh, Body Boss. Now we also have monetization options. So by default, uh, the free version also has the WooCommerce support, easy digital downloads. Now we also have paid membership pro, the subscription, annual enrollments and restrict content pro integration. So this is really cool. And if you use uh, WooCommerce, you can also use Cutflows to integrate all your sales funnels. So this is really, really cool. All right, so let's take a look now and see how easy it is to install the professional version. So again, I'm gonna switch over back over here. Now I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to come over here now to plugins. But again, before I do that, let me just show you the add-ons. So these are the add-ons that you get when you update to the pro version. So there might be a few items here that I uh, missed. So we also have content drip. Again, this is very, very important if you really want to regulate how much your content goes out there based on how people are subscribing. Okay, so you also have a great book here. And I think we've also covered all this already. All right, so... Now that uh, we are here, let's go to plugins and click on um, add new. Okay, so like I said, I've downloaded the plugin. So I'm going to click upload, choose file. And I'm going to go now to my downloads folder. And here it is. I'm going to double click on that. Install now. I'm going to activate the plugin. So once you activate it, now this changes to pro. So there we go. Now we can go to the pro license. So this is where you add your license key. So now I'm going to go to the site. I'm going to log in. Right, so I'm going to paste my license in here. So as you can see, my license is now connected. So that means now I have all those pro features. So the next area I'm going to talk about is very, very important because this is where we need to get to know how Tutor LMS integrates with other uh, services. So let's take a look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my account and uh, pretty much I can see where all these integrations are. So I'm going to come over here, click on integrations. And here we can see we have automated WP. I haven't really used this to be honest, but it automates some of the processes on your website. We also have Badge OS. Now Badge OS is really cool because you can give badges uh, based on how your students are performing on the site. We also have Gamey Press. And then over here we have WP Fusion. So WP Fusion is also very powerful because you can uh, give access to all your students based on tags. All right, so moving on, we also have Groundhog. Now we also have Zoom integration. Now this is fantastic because if you wanna do some live training, you can do the live training and there's an integration with Tutor LMS, which is very cool. Now moving on, we also have Google Classroom. So this is really cool. I heard this from uh, my son. Uh, they use Google Classroom at their school. All right, so Buddy Boss is also here. We also have Buddy Press. Uh, Oxygen Builder, Elementor, we have Wishlist Member, that's fantastic, Thrivecart. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of integrations here. And um, this really puts a smile on my face because with all these integrations, it means that uh, we can really extend our online course website and make it even more functional. So the question now is, would I recommend this? Absolutely, yes. I would 100% recommend this. It is really, really good. But in my opinion, I think there's a few tweaks that need to be done. In fact, let me show you what I mean. So when we take a look here at this page, uh, I'm running Divi, by the way. So Tutor LMS uh, has no integration with Divi, which means I cannot really go in and customize my text here and make it look the way I want it to look. Uh, and also my font here, I'm stuck with this unless I use the themes that Tutor LMS provide, and these also come with your membership. So these themes have pretty much a stylized layout of the website, but ideally I would love to go in and uh, make some changes to all my text and any element on the website with the DV Builder. So I know there's an integration with um, Elementor, so hopefully this uh, integration will be coming to DV as well, but that's the only thing that uh, I would really love to see with Tutor LMS. Other than that, man, Tutor LMS is amazing. I really like that uh, out of the box, you can have an online course website up and running. Now, of course, this is a basic review. I am going to do even more tutorials and show you how to integrate your payment gateways and also other integrations that I may find useful for your online course website. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the video comments below. And also don't forget that I have a discount uh, in the link 
provided in the video description below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.